China bets on sensitive startups in U.S. tech report to Pentagon raises. 66-year-old Moshe Fisher is testing out the new OrCam, a camera mounted on the frame of his eyeglasses that helps the visually impaired interact with their surroundings. But when Nurla needed money, it got little response from the American military. Roughly a decade after founding Mobile Eye, whose camera sensors will help develop self-driving cars, Shashua in 2010 created OrCam. In Mobile Eye, we're looking for vehicles and pedestrians and traffic signs and traffic lights and understanding uh, uh, the roadway and also controlling uh, the vehicle for autonomous uh, driving in order to avoid collisions and control the car. In OrCam, we are trying to understand text, barcodes, faces, uh, situations in order to help people with visual disabilities. So, so the customer functions are completely different, but the commonality is, is computer vision for the benefit of society. OrCam officials say the company finished a 41 million investment round last month and that its value stands at 600 million. We believe that by the end of 2018, the revenue, the profit of the company will be at, at such a level together with the ability to forecast that it's good enough for, for, for an IPO. <laughs> the listing would be on the New York Stock Exchange. Orcam's camera can read newspapers, street signs and recognize common items, dictating words into the user's ear. Catherine Omwando, CGTN.